Are you curious about living in Mott Lake Terrace, Washington? From the shopping, the restaurants, the schools, and the housing market? Then this video has you covered. Hey, yo, Jack. Hey, yo, Jack. All right, welcome back to my laptop for the Google Map Tour of Mont Lake Terrace. So Mont Lake Terrace is a city located in Snohomish County. It's located north of Seattle, Washington. There you go. Uh, Mont Lake Terrace is a small suburb located north of Seattle. It has about 21,000 residents. Uh, when you look at the distance from Montlake Terrace uh, to Seattle, and let's look first uh, without traffic. And don't worry, I'm going to tell you what it is with traffic as well. Uh, without traffic, it's about 16 to uh, 20 minute drive. But let's say you live in Montlake Terrace and you want to make the morning commute to Seattle for work. Let's look at 7 a.m. on a weekday, that commute time can range from 20 to 40 minutes. If you're doing a commute back from Seattle to Molly Terrace after work in the evening, let's say five o'clock, your commute time can range from 28 minutes to one hour. So definitely keep that in mind. Another cool fact about Molly Terrace it is home to nine different parks, three sport complexes, and 14 different sports fields. Now let's look at Montlake Terrace distance from SeaTac International Airport, which is the main airport in Washington State. Uh, right now it's a 50 minute drive, but if you're doing it without traffic, that's about a 26 to 35 minute drive without traffic. Now you do have another option as far as flying, and that is Ping Field Airport, which is located in Everett, which is a 16-minute drive of Motley Terrace. Ping Field is a small airport, which is great for flights to California, Alaska, Nevada, and Arizona. It's only one security gate at this airport, super small, reminds me of a hotel lobby. So if you're flying to one of those destinations, definitely check out Ping Field. And it's cool that you're only a 16 minute drive away. Uh, Motley Terrace also has a lot of options when it comes to public transportation. At the time in this video, the link light rail in Motley Terrace is not done yet, but when it is done, you can take the light rail from Motley Terrace to Seattle in 28 minutes. And you also take the light rail to the SeaTac International Airport. So again, Motley Terrace is super convenient when it comes to being close to the city of Seattle. Let's look at shopping in Ma Lake Terrace. Starting with the Park Hills Shopping Center. So let's use the Google map to see what this place has to offer. So let's take a look at this sign. You got Bartell Drugs, Ace Hardware. You got a restaurant, Ringers, which is a uh, bar and pub. Taekwondo, massage, not much retail options in this shopping center. Uh, you got QFC, Bartow Drugs. So yeah, a lot of shopping for everyday activities. Massage, Sound Community Bank. Let's check out some other shopping options at Molly Terrace. All right, so this is a Terrace Village shopping area. As we take a look around, there's teriyaki, uh, Mexican grocery store, tobacco outlet. You have a casino, home street bank. What is it? Azteca. Yes, Azteca, Mexican restaurant. Yeah, casino, Azteca, home street bank, state farm. So very similar to the Park Hills shopping center. Not as much for retail, but more of everyday use type of shopping. So you're probably wondering, like, what shopping options do you have for the retail side of things? Molly Terrace is a small area, but you are really close to Alderwood Mall, which is a popular indoor and outdoor mall. If you look at the proximity from Molly Terrace to Alderwood Mall, you're about a 12-minute drive away, so not bad at all. Six miles, 12-minute drive. 
So I must say Alderwood Mall is definitely one of the premier malls in the area. It's indoor, outdoor. As you can see in the picture, you have stores like REI, Nordstrom's, there's a Macy's, JCPenney's, got Lululemon. Alderwood Mall does have over 150 stores and services. And there's a movie theater. Pictures are not really doing it justice, but there's over 1 million square footage at this mall. And one of the cool things about this mall, they have a bunch of amazing restaurants. Yes, you see a Cheesecake Factory, but there's also a Brazilian steakhouse, pizza, sushi, Korean barbecue. So again, living at Motley Terrace and being only 11 minutes away from Alderwood Mall, which will always be busy on the weekends from shopping to restaurants, you cannot go wrong. All right, next, let's look at restaurants and Motley Terrace. I'm not going to go over every single restaurant, just some of my personal favorites. Starting off with Diamond Knot Brew Pub. So this is a brewery specializing in beer, but has some amazing food, as you can see with the fish and chips on the screen. This is a list of the beers they have on tap. Really good vibe, really good ambiance. If you are a fan of Thai food, a more Thai cuisine is really good. So personally, I'm a big fan of Pad Thai, but whatever your Thai cuisine favorites are, a more Thai is recommended. You also have Sorelli's Pizza, one of the premier pizza spots in Mont Lake Terrace. Really cool vibe inside with TVs. Good place to hang out with your friends and family. Then lastly, you got Time Out Greek and American Restaurant. If you are a fan of Greek food, Euros, definitely check out Time Out in Mont Lake Terrace. Next, let's talk about things to do in Molly Terrace, starting off with Cinnabar. So this is the Regal Cinnabar Movie Theater in Molly Terrace. It's one of those movie theaters where you sit down and you have servers come to your seat and they'll bring you food and drinks. I actually used to work at Cinnabar at a different location in Issaquah that has since closed down, but this one's really nice. A different way to experience watching a movie. All right, next, this is the Montlake Terrace Recreation Pavilion. Uh, it has indoor basketball court and an indoor swimming pool. They have events all year that are family friendly. So definitely worth mentioning. Next is Ballinger Park. Montlake Terrace is well known for the parks. There's nine parks total. There is 14 different sports fields and three sport complexes. As we take a look, at Ballinger Park, you can see the beautiful view of the water. You have the boardwalk on the water as well. Really cool vibes. This is one of the highly rated parks in Motley Terrace. Another park I wanted to highlight is Terrace Creek Park, also called Candy Cane Park. It's a 60-acre park with disc golf, a playground. Got a bunch of trails. They have disc golf. Molly Terrace, even though only has a population of 21,000, there's so many options out there for outdoor life. All right, next, let's talk about the schools in Mont Lake Terrace. So Mont Lake Terrace is part of the Edmonds School District, which schools residents of Mont Lake Terrace, Balso, Edmonds, and Linwood. In Mont Lake Terrace, there is three elementary schools, one middle school, and one high school that's part of the Edmonds School District. And we're gonna take a look at the high school called Montlake Terrace High School. So this is a aerial view of Montlake Terrace High School. So as you can see, there are the tennis courts, uh, there is the football field, soccer field, you got the baseball field, but here is the school's campus right here. It has 1,300 students, their mascot is the Hawks, and they're well known for their jazz band and basketball. Uh, here's another aerial view of when it snows. It doesn't snow like this very often in Molly Terrace, but it's really cool to see what it would look like with snow. Ground view of the Motley Terrace High School. And this is the third largest high school in Edmonds School District. So again, this will just give you an idea of the schools in Molly Terrace, part of the Edmonds School District. 
Uh, next up, let's talk about the housing market in Mont Lake Terrace, starting with the median home price of single family homes. Median home price in Mont Lake Terrace is $777,500. That is cheaper than Shoreline, Seattle, Edmonds, and Bothell. When you look at the condos, the median home price is $441,000. Now, if we compare those values to back in January of 2021, back in January 2021 for a single family home, the median home price was $613,750. That means since January 21, single family homes have gone up 23.54%. For condos back in January 2021, the median home price was $282,000. So now it's up 43.9%. So as you can see, Molly Terrace is continuing to appreciate year after year because of its close proximity to Seattle close proximity to shopping, like the Alderwood Mall, close to Payne Field, the amenities such as the parks. So it's easy to see why Molly Terrace is becoming a desirable place to live and continue to appreciate for residents. All right, that is it for the Google Map Tour of Mont Lake Terrace. Hopefully you learned something in this video. If you value this content, please like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And I'll continue to provide more value going forward. Till next time, take care.